Hey guys, Dan here from the iPod Touch World, and today I've got a review on GTA Vice City. So I was extremely excited when I saw that this application was available in the App Store. The graphics are absolutely phenomenal. This is the 10th year anniversary for Vice City, and they've done an amazing job optimizing it for the iPhone, iPad, and the iPod Touch. So you can see no frame rate issues, it runs amazingly smooth. They've optimized the controls to just make it a little bit easier for the touchscreen device. You've got all of the useful buttons, like you've got your handbrake, you've got your horn, you've got all the different camera angles. You've then also got the option to shoot off to the sides and also to shoot straight ahead as well. So I'm just really excited to see where the future of mobile gaming is going to go. So obviously GTA 3 has been released on the App Store, and that was definitely a hit. It did work very well, but I felt like the controls and everything were a little bit glitchy, and it was a little bit hard to get into. But Vice City, they have definitely done an amazing job. There will be a link in the description below to actually check out this application on the iTunes preview. But if you're a GTA fan, then I do definitely recommend checking this out if you haven't already. It's definitely been optimized for your touchscreen device. And seeing as GTA 5 is just around the corner, this is definitely an amazing little teaser. It is a relatively large map, there is a fair bit to explore, and there are many hours of gameplay as well, which just makes it a must-have. The controls are extremely simple to pick up, like I said, you basically just swipe along the top here to change your weapons. <laughs> One thing that I have noticed is a little bit glitchy is the shooting. Now it does lock on as you see there, very awesome. But when you get a bunch of people around you, it's really hard to kind of pick it up and get used to it. I really love driving around in Vice City. It's just really satisfying pulling off an amazing handbrake turn. So for the price and the content and everything they've just chucked into this application, I'm going to give it a 9.5. I bought it for $5.49, which is extremely cheap, and you're getting so much content out of it. I think they've just done an amazing job with this, and I really do recommend checking it out, guys. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Please make sure to leave me a comment below letting me know what you thought of my review or what you think of GTA Vice City. I'd also love it if you could show the like button some loving down there. And finally, please make sure to subscribe up here if you haven't already. So thank you guys so much for watching and please make sure to have a great day.